Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of the Red Version Randomized Nuzlocke here on the channel. My name is Silly Ram, and yeah, we're back for episode 7. Um, I have some... something to, uh... just to talk with you guys about really quick, because as you'll see from the title of this episode, I am an idiot. Um... At the end of the last episode, I managed to somehow overwrite the save file, um, or at least one copy of it. Um, so I lost a bunch of progress. Um, luckily, I had a save that was all the way back to before we got through Mount Moon. So I had to replay uh, basically the entire thing. Um, I kept everything else consistent, like obviously Woody and Angela are still dead. Um, the only inconsistencies you should see are gonna be maybe some items, like I have a ton of Pokeballs now and I have a bunch of potions, um, but I mean, honestly, probably would've picked those things up, uh, with all the money that we got from recent battles anyway. Um, I made sure that all the levels are the same as last time, all the movesets are the same, um, but yeah, that's basically, I just wanted to go over that really quick, let you guys know that that happened and that I'm an idiot, and hopefully I don't make any more awful mistakes through the course of this episode. Um, but yeah, so I guess today the only thing left to do around here is head- oh, nope, don't jump over that, because then we're going right back to the city. Um, yeah, so we're gonna hop through this grass, let me just double check what route this is, just so we know. I have Pokeballs this time, so I don't make a mistake, and, uh oh, Route 5, okay. We're on Route 5. So I don't make a mistake and walk into this grass without balls to be able to capture uh, our encounter. But here we go. Right off the bat, what do we got? Ooh! A Poliwag. Okay, okay. That's not bad, actually. Um, let's go ahead... Oh, I should have started with Overbite. Uh, let's go to Overbite because, as you all remember, Overbite is rocking out with Glare. And... Nope. Can't make eye contact, because Overbite's just so shy. This shy little rat. There we go. It looks like Polywog maybe only has Bubble, which slightly disconcerting, but I mean, it should be okay. We can hit it with another Poison Sting. There we go. And let's toss a ball at this guy. If we catch Polywag, I think we're going to keep it on the team. And we might actually put Andreas away. I don't know. We'll see. But there we go! We caught the Poliwag. So it's the Tadpole. Ugh! And it's newly leg- it, bleh, It's newly legs grown. Yes, that's reading. It's newly grown legs prevent it from running. Uh... It appears to prefer swimming than trying to stand. Well, kid, that makes one of you and only one of you, because I prefer to stand over running any day. But let's see. Um, what do I want to nickname you? Because eventually you'll be a Polyrath, I mean, if you last that long. But... I don't really have any good nicknames for a Polywag. Mm, I don't know. I could call you Flush, but that's a nickname that I use for other Pokemon. Just because the little swirly pattern on your belly. Um, 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 uh, I'm so bad at nicknaming. <laughs> uh, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know. I don't know what to call you, dude. Uh. I guess. Mm, we'll call you. Call you Spin Dry. Because. Because you have a spinning thing on your stomach. I, I don't know. We'll call you Spin Dry because you're out of the water even though you're a water type. And okay, so we have Spin Dry from Route Five. What a horrible nickname! Uh, 
Why am I playing this game? Why am I doing this right now? I'm so bad. I'm not creative! But anyway, let's check them out. Spin dry, that level 13 speed is already so high. Not bad. And yep, as we thought, it's only got bubble. That's alright. Um, do we need to heal? Nah, we're good. So we'll just we'll just have spin dry hang out for a little while. Um, it would be super useful to Oh wait. We have a trade opportunity. And trade traded Pokemon, the requested Pokemon and the offered Pokemon are both randomized, as well as the nicknames. Hi, do you have Slowpoke? Uh, I don't. Wanna trade for Electrode? We might have to remember. We might have to remember about this. Uh, cause. Oh, 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 that's our... This is our new route encounter. But we already have a Nidoran girl. Uh, we have Eboshi in the box. I don't know why it's not... Why it doesn't have the little Pokeball emblem next to it saying that we caught it already. Because we definitely have one of these. Unless I forgot to go back and do that. Okay, but we definitely still have a Nidoran girl if we if, if she's not in the box for whatever reason then I'll go back and get her from the old man before Mount Moon um, but we can run from this because that is dupes claws uh, I didn't mean to speed up all the way into this grass though so that kinda surprised me a little bit um, before we do this let's just go up here there should be a hidden item and if it happens to be like a great ball or something then that would be really useful uh, or maybe there's not. Uh, okay, maybe there's not. Uh, whatever, I'm not patient enough to look for it right now. Let's see what we can get in this grass here. Ooh! A coughing, okay. I actually am pretty excited about that. Ooh, wait, no, 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 don't explode on me, please! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, we got poison. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I really hope this thing doesn't have explosion already, or self-destruct. Because not only do we lose an encounter, but we're definitely going to lose a current team member if it has it. Um... No! Oh, I misclicked. I misclicked Twin Needle. And then in this version, Bug is super effective against Poison because somewhat, someone at Game Freak just, like, wasn't thinking, why in the world would Bugs be super effective against Poison types? That doesn't make sense. Ah, uh, that misclick just cost us a coughing! Coughing would have been so good. Well, <laughs> as the title of this episode says I am indeed an idiot so I guess that's that's my punishment outside of having to replay the whole game basically my punishment for screwing up uh, the save file speaking of which let's save it right now screwing up the save file is we lose what would have been a pretty excellent encounter indeed but it's it's what it is it's what it is hopefully we're into something better along the way but I gotta write that down. I'm pretty sure this is Route 6. Route 6. And I... Lost the encounter. Because I'm bad. Alright, Ace Trainer, what you got? Magikarp. We're gonna speed this up, because... Oh, it has Tackle. That's kind of scary. Caterpie? We can Sand. We're fine. Andreas learned Dig? Excellent, that's perfect. Uh, no, we don't need to train. Or a Switch, rather. Uh, actually, now that Andreas has Dig... We might keep him around for a little while. Cause look at that! Now that Andreas has stab, we're in business, dude. Oh, this is perfect. That was great timing. All right, I I I can work with that. I'm I'm pretty I'm happy about that. Um, I don't know what level I want to be going into this next gym. So I'm thinking we'll just battle whoever we can on this route. Um, oh, we have to go on SSN. Okay. Well, we might end up being a tad bit overleveled for this next gym. Um, if we don't scoop up another team member and start switch training. Just because we have to go through the SSN. And all these trainers are going to give us some levels. So, let's just see what happens. I don't think it'll be too bad, though. 
A Dodo. Okay, okay, okay. I'll see you, big dog. Let's go ahead and go into Overbite. Oh my god, that peck. Please one shot. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Why is Dodo so strong? That was horrifying. Okay, uh, we're gonna use a potion. Because we just got enough money to buy another one to replace that later on. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Usually you have a Pikachu? Or was it him that had a Pikachu and you have a Squirtle? Oh, you have two Pokemon. Maybe you had a Pikachu and a Squirtle. I don't know. Anyway, Jigglypuff is here. I think we can just dig and probably one-shot. Maybe not one-shot, but we'll do the damage. Bop come up out the ground. Oh, and we watch up with the crit. Andreas is taking lives now. Andreas is here for his revenge. Here we go. Andreas is just like, all those failures before they weren't my fault. I get it. Because it said Andreas' fault. Ah. Anyway... Andreas is here. Andreas is in the club. Walk up in the club like, what up? I got a big diglet. Never seen you around. Are you good? I mean, I'm probably better than you, kid. But you usually have a Butterfree. So I'm actually a little scared. I don't know what that's going to get randomized to. A Pidgeotto. We can handle that. I hope. So we do, in fact, have our own Pidgeotto. But who do I want? I think Overbite should come in and maybe glare this thing. Just so we know we're outspeeding. Yeah, we can eat another. Ooh. That's gonna hurt. Okay. Overbite, are you serious? Are you serious? This. I was over here talking about. Andreas is the liability. Overbite! Why are you blind every- and now we get sand attack. Okay, we're just gonna go for damage now. Come on, dude. How- you can't be missing with those big old buck teeth that you got sticking out your face. Thank you. It's a fat bird and you got fat teeth. What's the problem? We're gonna quick attack and land it. Thank God. Oh my God, we had to use that super potion too. That's pretty frustrating. We're just burning through our healing items, because Overbite didn't put on his glasses today. Come on, man. Step up your game. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. Wow. You, you're you like Bill. You, I should hook you and Bill up. You guys would probably get along pretty well with your crazy voices. Why are they all ace trainers? That's weird. Um... Oh, we don't have speed because quick attack. Okay. We should live that just fine. Andreas, bam! Hit him with that dig. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, level 20. Andreas is, is catching up, finally. Uh, we're going to say in because what's an Ekans to a Diglet? Hello? What's an Ekans to a Diglet? Get destroyed. Oh, a Diglet. Oh, now we're scared. Now we're scared. We're running, kids. We're running. We're out of here. Heritage, come do the work. Um. Uh, quick attack this guy. We're, we probably outspeed anyway, but I just want to make sure. There we go. No need to take any unnecessary damage. Now, is Andreas going to evolve? No, he's not. Sad day. When does he evolve? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pretty soon, but whatever. Eventually it'll be a Doug Trio, and it'll be killing everything with Dig. Here we go. Ghost Rider wants to fight. Mmm, this isn't a great matchup. Actually, yeah, there we go. I guess maybe the thing that the game considers when it's calculating super effective damage is maybe it only looks at um, the primary typing when a Pokemon is dual type. Because like, for, for example, in that situation, since in this game, Bug is super effective against Poison, but it's resisted by Flying. Oh my god, a hit only again? All 
All right, Needleby. <laughs> You're gonna just have to kick the crap out of this thing. Come on! Use those skinny little legs. Kick him! Dude! Stop! <laughs> this hippo Lee is just juking and vibing all over the place. Come on. Needleby, kick it in the face. Thank you. Look at that shiny forehead. How do you miss that? Boom. Whoa. Oh god. What's with the audio? Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys heard that too, right? Like, that wasn't just me. The audio completely blipped out and went crazy for a second there. Um, That guy is going to break our game. Let's just get up into Vermilion City and heal our Pokemon real quick, like, because I don't want anything bad to happen. Um, What was I even saying before that craziness just went down? I know... Um... I actually completely forgot what I was talking about. That's... Whew, that audio... That audio glitch, whatever that was, just threw me for a loop. But let's talk to this guy. He's gonna have something super useful for us. He just loves fishing, apparently. And we'll tell him that we do. Like, I personally find fishing kind of boring. But, you know what? We'll take this old rod, because it'll be helpful to us. And in fact, we can just go ahead and toss it in the water right now. Um... Because this will be our Vermilion City encounter, actually. So, let's see. So, Vermilion City, let's toss Old Rod in the water. I don't know who we're starting with right now. Oh, it's a bite. Will it be a Gyarados or a Caterpie? <laughs> Why, dude? How did I know? How did I know that it would be a Caterpie? That's hilarious. Um, Overbite, get in here, you know the drill. Can you make eye contact? Yes, you can. You're not scared of a little worm. You're not misty. Stay in this ball, Caterpie. There we go. Um, I'm not sure what I want to nickname you. Maybe, um, maybe Hungry, because of the Hungry Caterpillar, but let's see, um, but you also evolve into a Butterfree, which I like to call this. Uh, I just hit the space bar on my computer, thinking that it would give me a space in the game, but it didn't. I like to tell my Butterfree is no butter. Because Butterfree, right? It's free of butter. It doesn't have any butter in it. Um, let's let's just heal up real quick and run over to the PC. Um, I do think that I'm going to keep Poliwag um, on the team just because we desperately need that water type coverage because our team gets rocked by rock types. Like We can't do anything to them, but they can do a lot to us. Um, so let's put Caterpie in the box, and let's go ahead and bring Spindry out front, um, and then we will go ahead and probably head over to the SSN, I think. Well, actually, let's, um, let's see, can we teach, um, any of our mons anything right now? We have Sludge. Uh, Spindry can learn it. I don't know what your attack set looks like, but that could be useful. TM8 is Ice Beam. Ooh, and Spindry can get it! Okay, we have to look at your stats. We'll have to look more closely at your stats. Because I think you're much more physical in this game. Now, Comet Punch. Ah, oh, I just want to imagine a uh, freaking Poliwag Comet Punching somebody with his flappy little tail, but... Alright, Attack 21 and Special 17, and I think that Poliwrath is like not bad for both special and physical moves in this generation. Um, I think for now we'll just tag uh, Sludge onto you just because it'll be useful to have something other than Bubble. But we don't necessarily need to get uh, Ice Beam on you just yet. If it turns out your special stat 
starts growing pretty sufficiently, then we'll we'll slap Ice Beam on uh on uh spin dry here. But let's grab Yeah, I wanna grab ten super potions. Because we are desperately gonna need some healing. I am more than certain of that. Um of course they sell ice heals, but good thing we already have four thousand of them that we just happen to find along the way. Um oh we can go get two encounters here. Um, because there's Diglett Cave, or Diglett, yeah, Diglett Cave, and then there's this route, whatever this route is, um, but I think I might save that for later, uh, let's go, let's go get, um, our SS and business all squared away here, because, like I said, I don't want to be overleveled for the gym, and if we go clearing out these routes and all these trainers, then this gym is just going to be too much of a piece of cake, it's not going to be any challenge whatsoever, um, so let's get on this boat. Oh, this music. Oh, hello, old man. I travel alone on my journeys. My Pokemon are my only friends. So what, you like, just keep a Game Boy in your pocket? <laughs> Rich girl. <laughs> oh my god, this the name randomizer keeps on surprising me, dude. <laughs> rich, why is he randomized to rich girl? <laughs> you don't look like a rich girl, my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, now we land our glare on the super slow Kabuto anyway. Um, let's hyper fang you. Okay, that's still doing pretty decent damage, even with a harden up and it's resisted. But anyway, let's speed this up, because we already know that we're going to take you out. And another Kabuto. Um, let's go to Spin Dry. Let's actually sludge you, because I think Spin Dry can maybe handle you. Ah, uh, no poison. Rip. Okay, let's try again. If we can get a poison and then just spam Bubble, then we should be in good shape. But apparently, Spin Dry is just lacking in the toxic department. Spin Dry is just like a very amicable little frog thing. Okay, that did a lot of damage, so we're gonna swap out. Let's get out of here. Needleby, need you to do the work. Can you? Wow, that did 10 points of damage. There we go, snag the poison with the proper poison type. Not bad. Imagine if that was a, a mechanic in the game where, like, you can only get the second, the after effect of poison if your primary or secondary typing was, happened to be poison. Like, That'd be pretty irritating. So I'm glad that that's not a thing. But I guess thematically it might actually make more sense than the way it is now. How many? How much PP does? Blah, 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 blah. How much PP does Twin Needle have? Twenty. Okay. That's good to know. So we can we can spam that and be just fine. Spin regular level 14. Not bad. Not bad. There we go. Rich girl. My my friends, give me all that money. Whew. Not bad. All right, here's our cabin, I believe. Nope. Do we not have a cabin in this version? I feel like it should be right there. Uh, we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center then, because I don't feel like not having enough damage to handle, or having enough health to handle this place. I know we just bought a bunch of super potions, but I don't want to spend them all just yet. Um, but yeah, let's go down here. Is there an item hitting right here? Nope, that's only in the remix. That's good to know. Alright, uh, let's battle these guys real quick. Hello, stranger. Stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. Alright, pal. Let's see if you're actually telling the truth about that. You're a performer. <laughs> Yep, that, uh, that Charmeleon is just straight from the bottom of the ocean. Um, ooh, a Leer, that's kind of scary. Actually, yeah, I'm glad that we have Spinge right here because... Ooh, Speed Fell, nice. Okay, we can say in, maybe. Hopefully we don't get one shot. Okay, now we need to switch because two defense drops is a dead spin dry, 100%. Uh, this thing just wants to defense drop us all day. A Pidgeotto, let's go back to Spin Dry, and then we can switch on out to Overbite. 
who of course gets sand attacked and misses everything. Um, we're gonna heal because if we miss a quick attack, then this thing is gonna kill us super easily. There we go. Hit the quick attack. Good to play safe anyway, just in case. Um, Star, you Star, you can't touch us. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because it's gonna have tackle and it's gonna have uh, maybe water gun. And finish off with bubble. There we go. Spindry is gaining all the levels, dude. And it's got hypnosis. Excellent. Good stuff. I'm so glad we put Spindry on the team. I actually, my favorite type is water type. Uh, so I'm really, really happy that we have Spindry on the squad right now. Um, let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. And um, I'm going to save the game so I'm not an idiot. I know it seems a little bit random, but got a little bit of time left in this episode. I might actually uh, just like hold down the speed up button for the rest. Oh god, uh, for the rest of this episode, or not for the rest of it, but for like the rest of these little like side battles, just because like we don't all need to be here for this. For the oh, Omnite looks kind of scary. Um, who's our best bet? Maybe Needlebee. Oh my god, why was it doing so much damage? Uh, spin dry, and then let's change to Andreas. And let's dig. And one shot. Not bad. And? Okay, no evolution just yet. I was hoping we'd get a Poly Wrath. Um, ooh, Needlebee's hurting. Something serious. Let's go ahead and just use the Super Potion. I think it's worth it. Usually it's better to use your smaller potions out of battle, so you can have your more effective potions in battle, um, so you can do more healing while you're in the middle of a fight, but, alright, TM20, what you got? Growl. Of course a TM that literally any Pokemon in the game can learn gets randomized to Growl. Uh, I have no words. We're just gonna battle this guy, because that... Uh, the karma is real. I think I'm still suffering for my stupidity earlier. Ooh. Spindra's taking lives. Hypnosis? Yes! Alright, you're never gonna move, kid. You're dead! Level 18. I think we might evolve off that. Uh, bubble? No, we didn't one-shot. Okay. I was kind of worried there, because Onyx... Onyx doesn't have great, uh, offensive stats, but... Pretty sure Spindry had suffered a couple of defense drops in the meantime, so I'm glad that we managed to kill that thing. Still no evolution. When does Poliwag evolve? I don't actually know. Um, I should look up. No, I I, I kind of want to avoid looking up uh, like level up move sets, looking up gym leader levels. Like I want to just play this um, as blindly as I possibly can, because like I don't know. I feel like it's kind of cheap for me to look up. Um, gym leader levels or like level up move sets for Pokemon because if I know exactly what's coming then I'm just gonna be over prepared for the game and I shouldn't need to do that after having played this game for freaking decades um, or not quite decades but you know over a decade decade and a half anyway his sailor's pride is at stake uh, so let's go ahead and make quick work of it Andreas come through Andreas come through. Andreas come through. Not bad. An Eevee. We can go right back out into Spindry. Can we put it to sleep? No, we can't. Uh, this is going to be annoying, so let's just go to Overbite and Hyper Fang. There we go. And we got Water Gun. Not bad. Uh, we don't need to switch train you anymore because you are looking pretty solid. And Twin Needle is going to destroy that Ivysaur. Only one hit. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Our, our team is looking pretty solid right now. We're all in the early 20s, more or less. Ooh, this is this is looking good. This is looking good. We're 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 making up for past mistakes. God rest their souls. Um, okay, that was almost another mistake. Cause that Eevee did some serious damage for whatever reason. All right, there's one more room. I don't remember if there's trainers in here, but I think we should be good to go. We should be able to fight whoever wants to mess with us. Apparently, no one does though, and I'll revive. Useless, because I'm not allowed to revive Pokemon in a Nuzlocke. 
Uh, but now the, the bottom floor is cleared out. Let's go ahead and heal up. Um, since we don't have a cabin in the ship itself to use to heal up with. Um, and then, in the meantime, let's, uh, let's go ahead and sell those items that we found that are useless to us. Uh, let's sell that revive. Nope, don't sell that antidote. Uh, we'll sell growl, because growl sucks. Um, you don't, why don't you sell antidotes? You sell super potions, but you don't sell antidotes. That makes absolutely zero sense. But, you know what? It's whatever. Uh, let's see how much more of this ship we can clear out, uh, while we're here today. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to clear out the trainers, um, that we can. And then we'll stop just before our next big story objective, which y'all will see shortly. Uh, let's switch to Andreas, because you're perfect for this. And there we go. Easy peasy. This team is just very, very strong at the moment. I'm loving it. Oh, wait. Oh, she just wants a cherry pie. I was going to say apple pie. Goes to show how much I know about this game. Uh, do you want to battle? You don't want to battle. And that's still a wiggly tough. Okay. Do you want to give me anything? Cruise is so ugly and cozy. I want to travel with my wiggly tough. I can't speak. I, like, just woke up. So <laughs> I, like, have no ability to to process English language right now. Ugh. Anyway. Let's... Ooh. A venonat. Um... Needlebee. That was actually kind of a risky switch, because if it had... Um, any bug type move or confusion, then we could have taken a lot of damage there. But let's battle you before we scoop up that item. Let's just water gun. Um, this thing's critting us constantly, and I don't appreciate that very much. Heritage is level 22, not bad. Spin dry! Your time to shine, baby! Why are you not doing any damage with your water guns? Are you gonna evolve? Please tell me you're gonna evolve. Nope. Not gonna evolve yet. Um, it's because your special's garbage, that's why. Uh, well, good thing we didn't waste Ice Beam on you. Um, that would have been unfortunate. But anyway, let's slap a potion on Spin Dry real quick. Uh, I think we should move Andreas to the front, because I really want Andreas to evolve. Um, TM2, what do we got? Slash, ooh, not bad, and Heritage can learn it. I am so ex- I'm- I'm- yeah, we're- we're teaching it to Heritage, easily. Um, I actually really want to keep Whirlwind, just because if a Pokemon starts setting up on us, then we can just blast it away and be fine. Um, so let's get rid of Gust for Slash. They're both normal types, both normal type moves, and yeah, Slash is gonna do work. He's a police agent, did you know that? Um, let's- talk to you okay now what item is in here up oh, it was a ball it was a ball oh um <laughs> we found a master ball in the trash can what do you have to say for yourself snivel snip he's crying because he lost he's crying <laughs> he's crying because he peeled an onion that he thought was a master ball and just threw it in the or he peeled a mass ball that he thought was an onion and just threw it in the garbage. Yo! Out of all three trash cans, there's only one that had an item, and that item happened to be a master ball. Oh my god, we have to remember that we have that. Just in case we run into a Mewtwo in the wild. <laughs> what is this game? That was awesome. Alright, I think that, uh... The karma has balanced itself out. I know that neither of them want to battle, so I have no need to be in this room. Both of you want to battle, I know that much. But holy crap. Of course, we open with Andreas, and what do you start with? A water type. Because you're just cheeky. And, uh, hello? A Dragonair. Uh, Heritage, come through. Slash this thing. Slash this thing. Slash this thing. Stop being paralyzed. Thank you. See? If you just hit your moves, then you one-shot everything. Everything in the club. Still no evolution. Man, what is going on? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna paralyze heal you. Um and we don't need to heal you with a potion just yet. Let's keep let's keep let's keep on trucking. Yeah, you didn't see me at the party, because I got 
more important people to talk to than you. Get out of here, lazy. Alright, let's see what we can do to the spear out here. Um, Heritage, come through. I don't care if you drop our attack, we're gonna slash you and you're dead. You're dead! Crit! At high crit ratio, man. Heritage is just about to do all the damage. Nah, let's just stay in slash. Get out of here, kid! Ain't got time for that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Welp! In case we ever come across something with freeze hacks out the ass, then, you know, we're, we're pretty much set. We have ice heals for days. Uh, two more trainers. This should be good experience for us. See what you got, performer. Another Eevee, like, what is... Oh my god, I didn't mean to scratch. Uh, dig. And you're dead. Star you, yeah, we're kind of scared of star you. Because of the whole water type thing. Uh... Farfetch can get a slash from Heritage. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, let's use a potion on Overbite just in case. Let's play a little safer. And it's a slow poke. I'm glad that we did that because... Actually, Heritage is who we want to go into right now. Oh! Ow! Um, why are you doing so much damage to me? Get out of here. Oh, Slowpoke was level 23, that's why. That's kind of disconcerting. Um, found a Carbos. I think that's the second Carbos we found in this run. Maybe not. Maybe that was another time I was playing. Um, I think I want to make... Oh, I don't know who I want to speed up. I think I want to speed up Heritage, just because, like, speed determines crit ratio. Uh, and now we're rocking Slash. So yeah, let's speed Heritage up a little bit. And is there anyone in here? Nope, just you. Are you going to tell me about Slowpoke? Yeah, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. Thanks, pal. You didn't tell me anything except for that it looks like a fat ass, so that's useful. Ooh, uh, sure, I'm seasick. That's why I came outside. Not because I wanted to just whoop all y'all real quick. All right, Andreas, can we take it down with a dig? Yeah, there we go. A Lickitung? Um, ew. Heritage. Slash this thing. And quick attack. Pop, you're dead. Get out of here. Put your tongue in your mouth. It's freaking rude, man. Uh, no, we're not saying it on Bulbasaur. We're going to Needlebee because we're going to destroy it. And one shot. Not bad. And dig, and what? Oh, no one shot. Oh, we missed the scratch. Come on, yeah, the itch and the scratch, itchy and scratchy show. Can we evolve? Oh, come on, dude. What level does he evolve? Twenty-five? Oh, what's going on? All right. Well, regardless, the whole team is now doing some serious work. Uh, we got to get some better moves uh, on spin dry just because obviously trying to be a special type user is not cutting it um but in the meantime let's go ahead and heal up um some of you well most of you probably know what's coming next so we're gonna end this on nah, it's not really a cliffhanger we'll just end this right next to our next objective here if y'all know what's happening, then get excited, because I don't know if our team's going to handle this very well, because uh, we didn't get as many levels as I thought we would, and considering there was a normal trainer on the ship with a level 23 slowpoke, I think that our rival might be a little stronger. Oh, there we go, I just let it slip. Uh, yeah, we have a rival battle coming up. So let me just go ahead and make sure that I put out our best lead regardless of the situation, up front. Um, let me save the game right now. And yeah, so there you go. That is episode number seven. Um, thank you for sticking around and chilling and hanging out and watching the episode. Hopefully you're enjoying this uh, as much as I am. I'm having a blast with this. Like this is just getting more and more fun uh, every episode. So yeah, 
Thanks for watching, as always, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.